about Annie. I can hardly believe it myself. If you want to cancel... No. No, I was just about to get my head back in business, anyhow. I'll, uh, meet you at Confusion, say 15 minutes. See you there. Where are you going? Uh, orientation meeting with JR, remember? Really? It's kind of late for a meeting, though. Oh, I don't mind. Well, can I just say that I... I gotta tell you, it kind of bugs me. Oh, come on, don't pull that on me. Pull what? What am I pulling? Giving me a hard time about working with an ex. I'm trying to tell you, I know you're the hottest woman in Pine Valley, okay? And everybody knows JR's got the moral compass of a ferret. Uh, you, you, <laughs> can you blame me if I'm a little protective? I'm a little protective. No. In fact, if you didn't feel that way, I would think that there was something wrong. Okay. But I gotta get going because I don't want to be late to my first meeting. No. no, I'm trying to tell you something. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you too. Mwah. seem to be getting away from you, Martins. Ah. Uh, I brought you leftovers. Shut up. I did. <laughs> okay, it was Opal's idea. It was my idea. Oh, oh Opal, yeah. yeah. So I'm surprised it made it out of the, the house. Ted didn't eat it already. No, it's, it's fried chicken, too. You know what he's doing? He's watching what he's eating. Where's he watching it go, exactly? <laughs> no, I, on, on a serious Don't note. Tell no, no, no. We're on a... Look, we're working out together. We are, are we, we're running together. You running. have that kind of influence over him? It's kind of going both ways, actually. Hmm. So, uh, married life is, uh, going okay for you then? Well, I mean, I don't know about that, because we're not, you know, really married, but... He is an incredible fake husband, that's for sure. He's a special guy. Yes, he is. Yeah. Cheers, George. Cheers. What the hell are you doing? What are you thinking? Thinking is not going to help. You're right, it wouldn't help. Because that was sparkling water. How about I just back out of here really slowly and we pretend this never happened? Don't worry about it. Thanks for giving a damn. Really sorry. I, I just hated seeing you with a drink in your hand. That's gonna take a lot more than Annie to put me back in the bottle. But things have been pretty messed up, though. It's Annie's biggest fear to go back in there, and I paved the way. I just wish I would have acted sooner. Thank you. Well, I didn't step up either. And if anybody should be able to spot crazy coming, it's me. It was just so many people warned me. Well, I don't think that. Annie's problems had anything to do with you. They go back a lot further, a lot deeper than you. I really wanted to help her. I never meant to jerk her around. 
now she's living out her worst nightmare. You really do care about her. <laughs> you know what? Let it out. Let, oh it, let it out of your body. Oh, my God. That was almost like I was a little like, what? Oh, okay. I, I mean, she's, sure. she's like a sweet old woman, yes. right? And then all of a sudden, when she, she's just, she starts pinching her ass. I gay. Hey. I, I couldn't you believe it. I had that something... effect on women of all I, I, didn't, I don't forget that, you know. I... Because of what we used to have, that's what I'm, you know, yeah. I know. Yeah, I'm glad, yeah, because you don't have that effect on me anymore. Of course. It's just, yeah, of course. I know. <sighs> hey, this is good, though, yeah, that we can still do this. Yeah. Yeah. Which part exactly? That, that, that working together thing. Right. Yeah. I feel the same way. Yeah. Okay, so this guy. Yeah. 81 years old. Okay. Now, when you're taking the blood sample, you know, mm -hmm. you're... To do it, I will protect your. I like that. Okay, like yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. Thank you. Greenlee and I are, are married for good. Hello, hey. Emma. Is it good to see you or what? Yeah. Huh? But you can't wait to see Kathy. Hey, yeah, stay here with Madison for yeah. one sec, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> so, Emma's convinced that I betrayed her mom. She's incredibly angry at, at me, mm -hmm. at Greenlee. In fact, Madison's like the only one that she wants to even see or talk to. Right? Okay, um, why not, uh, if this is okay, I'd like to talk to her for a minute yeah, in the room. Yeah, great. Oh, great, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Tara's amazing with children. Amazing. The green ball, huh? With the donkey? You like that? <laughs> I like it, too. What's your name? Um, my name's Emma. Hi, Emma. It's so nice to meet you. I'm Kara. Nice to meet you, too, Kara. <sighs> so, I, um, I heard you had quite an adventure, is that right? That's what Mommy called it. Adventure. Okay. Well, if this is okay with you, I'd love to talk to you about it for a minute. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Go ahead. I'll be right here. Okay. Jake. Yeah? Put some good right down here. We'll be back. What we are going to do is listen to your heart. All right? Whoa, whoa! whoa. Aren't you going to warm that thing up? Oh, of course. How could I forget? She's silly you like that. are my ah, official warmer. Too cold. Now it's warm. Go ahead. All right, now it's warm. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I gotta. You know what? I'm going to go say hello to your dad and tell him how great you're doing. I'll take this. All right, sweetheart. Clay is fine. I think psychologically she might be a little stressed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. Perhaps JR pushed Annie a little too far. Hey, can I go see her? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, M Madison? Amanda's not back yet? Okay, well, she should be back soon. Can you uh, stay a little longer? Great, thank you. Annie never fully trusted me. I mean, I, that's my fault, I know. Maybe things would be different if, I don't know, she had a little faith in me. I just wish I could help her. Don't blame yourself, JR. This wasn't your fault. Well, actually, maybe he should. JR feels bad enough as it is. I just came from seeing Annie's little girl, actually. You know what she's been through? And I guess you thought you could really handle Annie, but then again, J.R. Chandler thinks he can handle anything, Jake. right? Uh, no, it's all right. You're not going to get any arguments from me. Annie saved my life. I paid her back by ruining hers. Well, good to see you got the stones to admit that. What are you doing here, anyway? I had a break. Hungry. Ordered some food. So I guess all of this is part of the uh, job description, convincing your boss that he didn't push Annie to her breaking point. We just got here. We hadn't gotten to talking business yet. And that's my fault, too. Well, I guess I should let you guys get back to whatever, you know, see you at home. You know, I'm just going to take a wild stab here. I guess that he's not so thrilled that you're working for me. Shopping. On company tab. Oh, man, don't tell the acting chief of staff. Shopping for anything good? Yes! 
I actually want to get Tad a gift, a thank you gift, you know? And I was thinking maybe, um, like a new game console or, you know, uh, I don't know, do you think he'd like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, you know, something for his office. And, and I, actually, I could get him a game to go with it, too. It does That's, sound yeah. like Tad, yeah, yeah. he would like that. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's perfect. It's time yeah. to get to know him pretty well, huh? Yeah, he's an easy guy to get to know. To the world's best hubby. Yeah. Sometimes I just 